So Tokash was launched commercially in April 2011. We've been we've been working for four years or so. Over the four years, we've been able to achieve about three million registered subscribers. We have a channel strength of about 7,000 retail agents nationwide. Between 2011 and now, what we've been doing is to actually invest quite heavily in education and customer acquisition, which will lead us to our goal of creating a critical mass of users. We've also been investing in building a I mean, quality agent network. So the channel or the agent, agent network is the backbone of our business because they are the ones who interface with our subscribers on a daily basis. We've also been investing in technology. We've made sure that um, to this space we are able to harness all the knowledge within technology possible to position us in a way such that we are able to fulfill one of our long-term goals, which is to be a payment partner for most companies or most brands within the country. So this slide briefly talks to you about some of the unique selling propositions of TO Cash. It's an easy to use service compared to any of the traditional ways of transacting or um, doing financial services. So there's a lot of convenience in doing Tigo Cash or mobile, mobile money, if you say. You're able to send cash to anyone on any network. You compare this to a traditional means of banking, like uh, a traditional means of financial services, like the regular retail banking, sending money via public transport, which is still quite prevalent in Ghana, compared this to sending money via post office you notice that there's an inherent convenience when sending via mobile money, because it's instant. I send cash to you, you receive in less than five seconds. It travels with the speed of an SMS, so that's how instant it is. There's a lot of safety because we actually apply two-factor authentication. You, there's first, you, you need to confirm your number and then you need to confirm with your PIN. It makes it very safe. It's easy to use, so if, you, if you've been studying the Ghanaian market for a while, Ghanaians like to follow the path of um, least resistance. Things with low barriers of entry. Tigo Cash or mobile financial services is actually the way to go for some of our people, especially those within the underbanked and unbanked sector. It's an easy tool for them. They are able to have full access to their money anytime they want to. They have the convenience to send money, receive money, whether doing working hours, doing weekends. So, that's a good one for them. Today, we focus mainly on three main buckets of products. So we have remittances, which is what I'm sure the bulk of us have experienced. Sending money to someone, receiving money from someone. Under that bucket of um, remittances, we have P2Ps, that is, selling from an initiator who owns a wallet, sending to another wallet. Then there's A to A or anyone to anyone. So the first one is peer to peer. Then there's anyone to anyone where somebody who doesn't want to own a wallet but still wants to send cash, walks over to an agent, hands over the cash, it's an over the counter transaction. The agent sends this money on their behalf. Then there's international remittances. International remittances here is actually inward remittances. So we have partnership with, with some, some organizations where people are able to send money from outside the country you receive directly in your Tigo Cash wallet. And then there's payments. And the payments, and I'm sure for most of us who are in the tech community, the payments is actually one of the places where we are mostly interested. So we have bulk payments where businesses or organizations are able to pay salaries or impress or whatever disbursements they want to do. They're able to send it through a system they manage themselves. So rather than having paying through the pay packets, you're actually able to upload the details of your staff and able to pay to about 100 or 200 people at the same time. So there's business to people payments, there's government to people payments, there's people to business payments. It's actually a lot of it. And then we have bill payments where we are able to, so that's actually where we, we leverage the e-commerce space. People are able to pay for stuff online, you are able to deal with merchants, so we have merchant payments, we have POS solutions, all of these things fall under the payments bucket. 
we are also able to do little things like buy airtime, buy data, all of these things are happening in the, within the payment system. And then there's the banks, bank services. Bank services also talks about our integrations with our partner banks. So we are talking of innovations like bank to wallet transfers, where you are able to transfer funds from your bank account into your mobile money wallet. We are talking about wallets to bank, which is the reverse of the bank to wallet transfer. We are also talking about things like cardless ATM solutions, where you can you would be able to use to go cash at an ATM without your card. So you transfer funds, your AT, the ATM serves as a retail agent and cashes out your money for you. So this is basically the space within which we operate, remittances, payments, and bank services. This slide is actually something for you to look at, especially for those of you within the tech space. So you are, if you're thinking about developing a product for for Tigo Cash, you should be actually thinking on something around, around this. Online payments, merchant payments, we do collections, bill payments as well. And then we have generally what we call white label solutions, or what we call powered by Tigo Cash. So somebody wants to somebody wants to set up a quasi remittance service. You don't have a platform to run this. Tigo Cash can help you run this in the back end. You don't need to say it's Tigo Cash. So maybe Mest, Mest um, Financial Services wants to run remittance services to people outside Accra. Tigo Cash is able to give you a solution that allows you to send money to people. So you don't have to own a platform to do this. We are doing salary payments, we are doing international remittances. There are companies who also do insurance claims to us. So you sign up to the insurance, you pay premiums via Tigo Cash when you need to make a claim as well. We do this via uh, Tail Cash. And then there's loan disbursements. We are working with some companies where people apply for loans and we do disbursements via Tail Cash for them. Are we done digesting this slide? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we find anything interesting in here? Yeah. You found something? I want you to introduce the international remittances. Okay, so we've been running international remittances for a while now. We have partners like PayAfric who operate in very, so what happens is these ones are limited, okay? So we have other partnerships that um, we, are, we will announce soon, but things like PayAfric and Ping Money, those ones run in, some run in the UK, some run in Australia, where people are able to send money straight into your account. We've been running this for close to two years now. It's not everywhere. No, it's not everywhere. But we have some we have some big announcements in within that space that will run within the big names and then we are also talking swift payments which will run into accounts everywhere. Are we good? Okay, so um um actually can we can we keep all the questions out of the game? Thanks. So, Tio Cash has a, a few announcements we need to make. Keep, um, keep glued. You'd hear them, but what, what's interesting is usually what we do is we have, we run some hackathons and the guitar fairs, and we've been trying to harness the innovation within the tech space. So, people come to us with lots of beautiful ideas. Trust me, things we never thought of. Usually, Stereotypically, people's idea of a tech person is someone who's in his grandma's basement and just coding things off. But trust me, there are a lot of interesting ideas we get from these tech people. So we have more like open deals where people come to us and they develop things for us. We expose our APIs to them. They know what they can do with us. They share with us. And then we sometimes give some contracts to some people to develop some of these things for us. Out of these collaborations, have borne some very interesting products. We'll be making some announcements within the next few weeks. I'm sure some of you, some people in this room have been part of these integrations and these products and innovations we are about to launch. 
we are working very strongly within the payment space and as i said earlier on one of our long-term goals or today is a short-term goal for us is to be the preferred partner when it comes to payment services so whether it's online payments uh, or any other e-commerce payment so we are pushing very heavily around the payment services and our integrations within the next few weeks so any questions? So I think we'll, we'll save our questions.